Locked on Target. Hi, crew, and welcome to this special edition of Hot Chocolate Chronicles. And man, do I got some announcements and everything is so, so awesome today. I'm going to call this special hot chocolate. We're not doing the mystery hot chocolate today because we got some crazy stuff going on. First of all, I got to say thank you so much for subbing to the channel. hundred of you guys are now subbed to the channel. So hundred, hundred people. So let's drink in salute to you guys, my fans, who've helped make me a very happy guy today. And that's the main reason why this is happening, not on Saturday, because we are reached 100 subs. So thank you guys. I will continue to provide the awesome content that you guys have come to love and want to support me uh, making. So thank you. And of course, we have more game reviews coming your way this week. Let's plays. And of course, I will have other exciting announcements. So let's just drink up and uh, start the show. All right. So, those of you guys that are new to Hot Chocolate Chronicles, and of course this is an off screen, but it's okay. Um, that this is a show about life, the universe, and everything. I share channel news, channel updates, blah blah blah, uh, family news, gaming topics, all that jazz. This one, of course, since it's a hundred subs, is going to be relatively channel focused, and I do have a surprise for you guys. I want to show you something that you'll see me in quite often. Yup, that's right guys, I got my hat. So uh, this is the new look of Captain Chris, other than uh, my bushy beard, which I'll probably trim up some other time. But, eh, that's so sue me. Um, but the this is the new look of Captain Chris with my new Locked on Target hat uh, from Cat Beast, and I really like it. As you can see, it actually makes my headset go on quite well. So I actually really like this look. And I wear this out in public now because I had my custom hat with the custom logo uh, added on. And uh, it's pretty awesome. So, uh, yep, I've been wearing it a few days on my Twitch streams, which, cough, cough, if you guys don't know, I stream pretty regularly at night over on twitch.tv slash show, And I'll get into more streaming stuff uh, later on in the show when we talk about gaming in, uh, for my channel. But... The only other announcement I have, well, uh, related, that's super, super major, and of course, these are three major announcements here, is my daughter's walking. Like, legit walking from one end of the house to the other. And, oh my gosh, I can't believe that. Like, what, like this is the week of crazy things happening to me, and... I'm just glad I could share them with you. Like that's that's what makes that's what makes Hot Chocolate Chronicles special to me is it's me sharing my life with you guys and you guys sharing it with me. It's a conversation. It's a two friends or you know two friends or more sharing a cup of hot chocolate or a drink together. It's it's I just love it. Uh, I just love doing this. This is probably one of my favorite shows I produce. Either that or the podcast or Twenty Minutes. Actually. I love doing all the content on my game or on my show, so it's I wouldn't do it if I didn't. So uh, come to think of it, but I really enjoy uh, the three things: so 100 subs, uh, my hat, and the um, and my daughter walking. All are pretty darn big milestones in my life. Obviously, my daughter walking is the is the probably the largest, but a hundred subs is super encouraging to me because I didn't think I was going to be there uh, for a whole year at my channel wrote great or rate of growth. And I reached it after about six months or five, five or six months. So I think I've been doing videos for seven, six to seven months now. And that's pretty encouraging to me. You know, at this rate, I very well could reach a thousand to two thousand at the two year mark which is going to be my new goal is two thousand by year two and that's exciting to me and uh we'll get there i think so that's the new goal two thousand by year two and uh, i'm not i'm not trying to say oh yeah blah 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 let's let's go full power forward guys like i i very much appreciate what you guys do to come here and hang out with me uh during this and I just, I very much appreciate you guys in general. 
Uh, so a lot of my friends, a lot of people that I have yet to meet have joined the channel in the past few weeks. Uh, about 30 of you that I have no clue who you are, uh, but I'll get to know you. And uh, I just, I'm just so thankful for everything that I have and my, my audience and my family. I mean, what else, what, what better thing to talk about it? But now, now we're going to transition into talking about something that I've been testing out kind of today and my impressions of something else. It's called YouTube Gaming or gaming.youtube.com. All I've got to say is wow, YouTube. Just wow. I got it working, but uh, just fine. But I've been helping Evan the Pixel Pusher, which is, you know, one of my collaborators on the podcast. Oh, darn it. I wanted to talk about that too before I went in. I actually had four announcements. Uh, I'll, just do, I'll just do the fourth announcement here, uh, which is the podcast is trying to move to a weekly format. Instead of a bi-weekly, we're going to be starting to meet weekly, so I'm excited about that. So, uh, and we stream that live on twitch.tv slash Lockdown Target Show, and uh, every week on Mondays, preferably, we are going to be doing the podcast. So, if you just want to join us there, or you can catch the VOD on my channel, and uh, catch me, Evan, Alice, and hopefully Anna, uh do shenanigans and hopefully we can start having guests on the show once we get this all formatted and started the regularly nail down times that we actually do the podcast so yep uh so it podcast is happening but evan has been doing uh youtube streaming all day and i've been kind of running technical support for him because i haven't been able to be downstairs a lot other than to check out youtube gaming uh briefly and let me say my impressions and his impressions are not so good. So li our copyright claims are a definite thing on YouTube. And from what I can see, it's just as bad as the content ID matches on you doing Let's Plays. So most Nintendo games are out. He was playing Gears of War Ultimate Edition and he had a bunch of claims on the music there. Uh, and he had claims on... Uh, a Creative Commons song that he uses from Hot Chocolate Party, uh, which is ironic because this is Hot Chocolate Chronicles, but they have no relation to me. Uh, but he was using a Creative Commons licensed song, and it got claimed on YouTube. It's never been claimed on Twitch, not even the VODs. So uh, it's it's just a very hostile environment, environment to the content creator. No one really knows how the heck anyone's searching uh, anyone on gaming.youtube because it'll have like the channel with two people next to the channel with 40,000 watchers. And that's the other thing is no one's really watching uh, game or gaming.youtube right now. Uh, for instance, you go to the gaming.youtube for Gears of War Ultimate Edition. You know, there's three people currently streaming. I just checked it before this to make sure my numbers were right. Three people between them, four people are watching. Uh, go to Twitch. There is literally pages and pages and pages of people uh, and 6,000 people watching those streams. I mean, granted, there's something being said about being in the like one to three streamers uh, on, on gaming.youtube, but there's also the copyright claims that are coming into that game on YouTube, as well as gaming.youtube or, you know, Twitch just is, is a more friendly environment to the gamer the game streamer i think than anything so yup but uh i've been streaming a lot on twitch lately at night uh and i've been streaming things like um mostly jrpgs rocket league halo master chief collection uh rare replay occasionally and things like that i think i'm gonna be focusing on jrpgs and rocket league as well as Halo Master Chief Collection, and Halo 5 when that comes out. So if you're interested in that content, again, you know my Twitch by now. I've said it like two weeks already, whatever. So, um, But come out and join me. I haven't had anyone come out and join me uh, the whole week. So uh, it would be nice to have a watcher or two. So, uh, But I do it for kicks and giggles. I don't do it for like making it big on Twitch. Same thing with YouTube. I do this for fun. I don't need to do it for 
money, although it would be nice. It'd be nice to get some money from YouTubes. So, and that's going pretty well too, actually. My views have gone up and so is my ad revenue uh, from the views. So thank you for watching the ads and not using Adblock. I very much appreciate that. And if you don't, then, oh well. I mean, it's, that's I think that ads are a choice. And if you want to support me, there's other ways to do it. Just you watching my videos uh, and even watching this now that's far into the video has helped it immensely. So, and help me immensely, whether you uh, watch ads and give me that quarter of a penny for, for the watch or not, you know, uh, I go up in search ranking, so it still helps me out. Uh, so go ahead. I don't mind if you ad block my stuff, but, uh, you know, I know other content creators that do. So, um, I, I appreciate when you don't, uh, but again, that's an optional thing where if you want to support me, go ahead, uh, turn off ad blocker on my page. But if you don't, then, you know, I'm not going to hold it against you. So there's other ways you can support me and do if you're even watching this far into one of my random vlogs. So thank you uh, so much for watching. And I think that's pretty much it is basically my impressions of YouTube gaming are poor. Uh, and I forgot to mention the big thing, which was. I was in the live preview, which if you've done live events before with YouTube, and I've done one, you know that the preview actually uh, gives you a preview of the stream before you go live. Well, guess what? It put my preview live without permission, and thus I streamed for about a minute and 40 seconds today of a black screen and nothing. And I was just derping around trying to see the control panels, learning it so I can help people out, you know what I mean? Uh, because a lot of my friends are trying it out today and I'm, I'm like that guy you come to when you have questions to ask. That's typically me. Okay. I try to learn as much as I can about anything I do. Uh, not for like this, my own sake, but to help other people out. So, you know, if you guys have any questions about anything, I'll I'll generally go out of my way to help out. Speaking of which, I should probably do that OBS video teaching people how to use OBS Multiplat with CLR browser, uh, which makes no sense to most of you that are watching this, but it's Twitch and uh, OBS stuff, or recording stuff, content creator stuff. So uh, there's no good video out on it, and I had to figure it out all myself. Uh, and... Um, I've had to help people, like 20 people on Reddit, uh, configure it. So, as well as Evan, the Pixel Pusher. So, I think it's time that someone makes a video, and I'm going to do it so I can be like, hey, dude, sup, check out this video. Not for views, but because no one's made it, and it's been out for, like, weeks, and everyone's been too lazy to. So, I will make the video so you guys don't have to, and... Um, that's more of like why, why my how-tos is I just want someone to have like a visual walkthrough of how to do OBS multiplat and do it well. So I'll be trying to produce that this week. I have to write up that script. But uh, yeah, that's the plans for this week. So thank you for tuning in. And until we meet again, stay on target.